today, how to make your own wash. Right. Let's get started with a few supplies that you'll need. You'll need to grab up some water. Me, I like to keep it in a dropper bottle. You'll need some paint. For this video, I'll be using paint from across multiple paint ranges to explain how they act a little differently while making them into a wash. A palette to hold the wash in. And lastly, a brush. For this demonstration, we just primed up some practice models here. Just simple, generic models that I got off of Amazon. Griffin, Swamp Man, a moth, and a little pixie. We'll be starting off with Citadel's paint range, Fist in Red. Crack it open. Get you a nice little dollop. Place it in the palette. Then onto your water. I'm going to add roughly 7 to 10 drops. I use 10 drops here. I find one drop of paint to 10 drops of water. Starts you off with a fairly good base for a wash. All you need to do is start applying it to your model. Citadel paints uh, about a medium thickness I would say, so I would start off with probably the 10 drops. Once you've gotten the paint dropped in the recesses, you can rinse your brush and go back in like this and clean up all the wet areas spots you didn't want the wash on. These are just primed so this is simpler to do. And there you go. And now on to Vallejo's game color range, black. The black wash is often used. There's other things such as null oil and inks that you could use. I usually start off with a good black wash. With Vallejo, we're going to go with another 10 drops. But 7 honestly would probably do. Get it mixed up. With seven drops, you'll find it starts to tint. So I started off with 10. 10 drops of water to one drop of paint. As you see, getting it applied to the griffin here. And it's dropping nicely in the recesses. Now on to Privateer Press, or P3. This is Necrotite Green, one of my favorite greens. This paint is fairly thinner than most paints. Whoa. Almost knocked it all over. Oh. And since it's a bit thinner, we're gonna get it on the palette. And as you may have already guessed, we're gonna use less water. But I went ahead and put 10 drops anyways, just to see. Tested it out on my fingernail, and then my knuckles. This seemed like it would do pretty good. It's going to be a thin wash, but we're trying it. With this paint, I do recommend starting with 5 to 7 drops per dollop of paint. You won't be able to get this perfect unless you've put your paints in two dropper bottles. As you can see, the green is dropping nicely into the recesses.
And now we're on to some Army Painter War Paints. We're going to try out Tanned Flesh. I find Army Painter to be also a thinner paint. So we'll go with the seven drops this time. Mix it up and start applying it to our model. We'll hit up the little flower dress here on the pixie. Oh, and it's dropping quite nicely in those recesses. Seven drops was the way to go on this one. Now let's try it on the griffin. Oh yeah. Going on nicely once again. I've dumped the paints, but let's see how they react to the texture on my paint mat. Working just like a wash would, hitting the recesses nicely. And now lastly, some apple barrel paints. These are cheap craft paints. For this we're using a yellow. We're going to get a heavy drop in there. And because this paint is heavy pigmented and fairly thick, we went with 15 drops of water. Took a minute to mix up, make sure you mix your craft paints well. And let's see what it does. Alright, it's dropping nicely into the recesses, but as you can see, it's still tinting the other layers. So maybe next time I would try 20, 25 drops of water. Here we have the griffin, the pixie, the moth, and the swamp man, all washed up. A simple but effective drop per drop wash recipe. Water to paint. Remember, you can support me on Patreon, and I have merchandise as well. The links will be provided below. If you enjoyed this short little video, comment below, like, subscribe, and maybe we'll make some more. Perhaps dry brushing next time. Alright, this is Miniocalypse. Fight the Great War, paint those minis!